All right, the camel grinding fun is over. It's time to suffer because today we're gonna start grinding our snipers and zombies. I had a feeling that snipers in this game, just like in Cold War, were gonna be the worst class to get done. And I was right. Let's take a look at these challenges. So our first challenge, pretty standard, get 250 kills. I think that's the base challenge for every single weapon in this game. And then we move on to our next one. 200 critical kills. Now, 200 is nothing compared to Cold War, but it just gets worse from here. And then for this next one, it says get 250 kills with this weapon at rare or higher rarity. That's pretty crazy, especially if you don't have the schematic to craft a rare Aether tool. You're gonna have to find one of these things, get it, and then get all those kills in that game because you can't bring your rarity with you when you exfil. And then our final base camo challenge is you need to get 250 kills with frost damage. So you need cryo freeze on this. This is looking like we're gonna need a few different items to get this done, and it's gonna be a pain. And then of course, for our golden enigma is to get 100 kills and successfully exfil in the same game. But before we hop into it, look at this real quick. The multiplayer and the zombies camos are just inverted versions of each other. I didn't notice that. Some of these camos are pretty mid, but this is a cool idea. Anyway, I'm gonna go into this game with it level one and we're gonna try the expel method for leveling up and getting camos for it. Look at this dumb zombie. He doesn't even know I'm right here. Bam. But for this first game, I'm going into it with basically nothing. I'm going with nothing in my backpack because I don't want to waste any of my perks, like my dead shot, like anything going for just these levels at the moment. I did bring like my gas mask and a self revive and I guess this mortar strike, but mainly I'm just going for levels here, maybe trying to get our original 250 kills. And then hopefully I can find some stuff to exfil with that might help us out later. Mainly cryo freeze is what we're looking for and an aether wrench. Any schematics would be cool too. Oh, there's a self revive i'll be taking that oh and a mortar strike i love how there's a claymore here on the kitchen counter like if this was any kind of world before the zombies took over somebody just left that there like they're gonna pack that in their lunch or something oh a large backpack give me that all right let's make our way over to an exfil location before somebody takes it oh look at that passive income leveling up on the drive there all right let the level grinding begin. Actually, this is a good opportunity to test and see if we can collapse more than three zombies at a time. That was the limit in Cold War. I wanna try to get these guys in a single file line, at least as close to one as we can. And I got one kill. Maybe we'll test this uh, when we get some better attachments or maybe an insta-kill or something. No way there's a joker in this little barrel in the ground. Fuck it, I'll bite. Say your prayer, zomb bitch. Now just stay right there while that goes way in the air. Go back. And whatever. This has got to be the worst possible loadout in zombies. This is ridiculous. Oh, wait, we got an insta kill. Hold on. Test the clats. Okay, that was 120. So I think we, we clatted six zombies there. If I'm getting 20 XP per zombie kill, that's that's pretty decent. That's not bad. That's double cold wars. Next time I come in here, though, if I got an extra speed cola, I am using it. Because this reload is obnoxiously slow. Takes forever. I wonder if I'll still get XP if I just like energy mine them. Because that was an insane amount of zombies right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that's kind of satisfying. I'm not going to lie. Seeing that number of XP just go flying by is crazy. Oh, we got our runation camo. Let's go. So we're at 250 kills. Now we should probably work on our crits. The more and more I'm using this gun and the slower and slower it's feeling, I'm getting ZRG PTSD. And since we're right by the pack lunch machine and we got enough money, it couldn't hurt to go ahead and get this packed. There we go. Get an extra five bullets in the mag. That should save us a little bit of time. Holy XP! It's still going! 2,000! That was like two levels right there. Now we got a, a full team over here. I think they might actually be trying to exfil. I've just been here the entire game. All right, see you, gentlemen. Safe travels. All right, we only have like six minutes left. I've milked this game for all of its worth. I'm getting these last few kills here, and I'm getting out. I kind of need this nuke to get out, actually. So I'm gonna hit that, hop in, and we're leaving because I have no idea how I was gonna defend myself on this helicopter with just a sniper and a joker. But that was perfectly timed. Let's skedaddle. So we made it out, but I don't think we got anything too good. Like no ammo mods, no perks, nothing. Besides like that backpack and a self revive, we kind of just got levels. I had 2,286 kills that game. That's ridiculous. That took two hours off my insured weapon slot. So if I ever do die with my sniper, I know what to do to get it back. And we got this up to level 22 out of 27. We got our first camo done. We were literally eight crits away from getting that done. And we just need to get 250 kills with this at rare or higher and frost damage. So our whole next game, 
we just need to be looking for an aether wrench and before we hop into this next game do i have anything that can help us uh since i got two stamina ups i'll just use one of those maybe i'll bring in this elemental pop because we have a chance to freeze some zombies with it and i could bring in this raw ethereum crystal but that's an eight hour cooldown maybe i'll craft some speed cola and let's just hope that we find this wrench okay let's knock out these crits while we got the chance maybe if i could aim oh, there's one Oh, there's our critical kill camo. Let's go. Now we literally can't get any camo progress unless we find one specific item. And then we got to level up until we find another specific item. And I completely forgot to use my perks. So let me activate these. And since I can't find shit in any of these buildings, I'm just gonna go spam do missions until maybe it drops me one. Or I have enough money to go to the middle area and maybe buy one, if that's a thing. Free delivery. Give me what I need. Nope. What about this one? Oh, uh, pack a punch. And shatter blast. Close, but not what I need. This is the one for sure. What the fuck? Come on, give it to me. Oh, we got cryo. So I'll stow that. Just got a raw Ethereum schematic. I think I already have one of those. Not gonna lie. But I do see this little dude in the distance. I'm gonna see if this drops an Aether wrench. I feel like something in this game has to. There's gotta be one thing that guarantees it. There we go. We broke it. Please drop something good. <gasps> it's a green wrench. So maybe we need to find one of those in a higher tier area. We're already in like medium though. I guess we can go try to find one in the, the high tier area. Give me pack a punch too before we go there. And now the hunt begins. Oh, it's right there. That was fast. This is going to be way more difficult than the other one though. Because we got sprinters over here. Zombies. Eat a mine. Can I just like mortar strike it? Let's see. What else am I going to use this thing? Oh, it moved out of the way. Smart orb. Oh, I try to teleport. So you can't leave it alone for too long. Or it'll leave. Just like my wife. And we're down. That was fun. If we just throw a decoy. The dumbasses will go for it. And leave me alone. Break, you bastard. Oh, we broke it? Did we get one? I think so. We got it to epic. Good thing we had another self revive. Holy shit. Okay, so we can start getting our kills epic style. I need to go outside. But let's go through this portal and get out of here. Let's find us a little exfil that we can exploit. And this is probably going to be a mistake doing this in a tier two zone rather than a tier one with how slow this thing reloads. But I guess we'll see. We just need to get our kills and get out. We just need one more level. I'm kind of torn between like putting my cryo freeze on right now or not because we still have about maybe 30 minutes close to 30 minutes 28 minutes left in this game maybe a little bit less to save time so we can actually exfil and I don't know if I'm unlocked the challenge yet to go for our cryo freeze kills we are pretty stacked right now in terms of our weapon and the shit that we have in our inventory I feel like I might just do it yeah let's throw it on and let's hope that it's actually gonna track this camo so it really suck to waste this cryo freeze oh there's a pallet corpse I'm pretty sure that was the 250 kills with uh epic or higher or whatever rare or higher so now we just gotta work on our cryo and just hope that it goes off Oh, we got hypothermic. A challenge popped up saying killing enemies while cryoed. Thought I got the camo right away. They're cucking me. There's level 27. So we got to have this unlocked. There's no chance we don't. The zombie just fell over and died for nothing. This pilot's got to be getting sick of like coming in here, landing, me just running laps around the helicopter and then leaving. I am running up taxpayer dollars with all this helicopter fuel but i'm sure all the taxpayers will understand when they see these sick camos i leave with and okay, now the storm's coming in we got less than 14 minutes to get this camo done i'm gonna be so pissed if i go through all this and i realize that it's been the wrong ammo mod the whole time i watch it be like dead wire or something and i just read it wrong oh there it is let's fucking go so we can actually probably leave on this exfil that i just called in that's hype because for whatever reason, last time when we went through, we got all of our camos, like all of our base camos done. And then we got like close to 2000 kills in the game. And it did not like count for our get 100 kills and extract in the same game. So I guess it didn't start counting until after you unlock it into the next game. And let's get out of here. Fly away. Oh, I guess I am kind of safe on the helicopter. Once it starts taking off, all the zombies just blow up. We got some nice items out of that, too. 
We got a schematic that we already have. I probably should just drop it for somebody, honestly. And a few perks. And let's just make sure that we got it. So that's done. That's done. That is done. And that's done. Oh, wait. It did give us gold. Let's go. That's sweet. Well, I guess we don't have to play another game after that. And I was going to say in the last video, I talked about how, oh, gold didn't pop up for me. It didn't pop up. The whole challenge is get 100 kills and then exfil. Of course, it's not going to pop up until after we exfil. But apparently it works. I don't know what happened last time with our other gun, but I'm not complaining. And this is what our cat AMR, whatever the hell it's called, looks like with golden enigma on it. Honestly, really nice looking weapon. I love that all these guns have like full coverage on it. There's not a spot on here that doesn't have the camo and they did all the accents right. Like the main body of it is all that white color and then all the surrounding parts like the ends of the scope and all the middle metal, whatever the hell you want to call it, is that gold. Pretty sweet looking gun. But we got our first sniper done and honestly, we got it done pretty efficiently. The challenges for sure were difficult, like getting just the random items like an aether tool and getting like cryo freeze. We got pretty lucky finding those, but at least we found a way how to get them, uh, specifically the Aether tool. So if you go and shoot those orbs, they're guaranteed an Aether tool. Uh, the rarity probably depends on what area of the map you're in, though. But honestly, I like the strategy to it, knowing that like, OK, I need to try to get this item and then I need to do this to get the camos for it. It really makes you find out more about the mode, you know, try out different missions, go shoot different things and see what items you get. Now, I'm sure down the line, I'm going to hate this when I can't find the item that I'm looking for and then I need to get these camos. But for right now, that was kind of enjoyable. It only took us like two full games in around two hours. So not the worst time to go from level one, no camos to max level, all the zombies camos. I mean, besides the ones after Golden Enigma. But I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.